Welcome back to our channel. Lesson number one. Reprogram your subconscious mind. You know, our subconscious mind is like a hidden treasure chest of limitless potential. It's where our beliefs, emotions, and habits reside, shaping our reality. But often, these habits can become our biggest roadblocks. So, let's explore how to tap into that treasure chest and reclaim your life. The first step is recognizing the habits that need changing. Let's discuss the impact of excessive gaming and pornography on your life. It's not about judgment, but understanding how these habits might be holding you back. Self-control is like a superpower, my friends. It's what separates those who dream from those who achieve. We're going to explore ways to strengthen your self-control and regain the reins of your life. Your mind and body are deeply connected. By understanding this connection, you can harness the power of your subconscious mind to overcome urges and temptations. Affirmations and visualization are incredible tools for reprogramming your subconscious mind. To break free from harmful habits, we need to replace them with positive ones. Let's explore how you can develop healthier alternatives to gaming and porn, ensuring lasting change. The more you don't have sex, the less you appreciate the body as a vessel of pleasure and connection. No one walks this path alone. Surrounding yourself with a support system and being accountable is crucial. Mindfulness and meditation can be your allies in this journey. They help you become more aware of your thoughts and feelings, which is key to reprogramming your subconscious. It's a process and patience is your best friend. Lesson number two. Why happiness is a personal choice. In our fast-paced world, we often fall into the trap of thinking that happiness is dependent on external circumstances. A great job, a perfect relationship, or material possessions. But here's the truth. While external factors can certainly contribute to our happiness, true and lasting happiness comes from within. It's a personal choice we make daily. Positive psychology, a branch of psychology, has shown us that happiness can be cultivated. It's not just a random emotion that comes and goes. We have the power to choose our thoughts, actions, and attitudes, which in turn influence our happiness. It's all about fostering a positive mindset. Change the way you talk to yourself. Replace self-criticism with self-compassion. Be your own best friend. Resilience plays a significant role in choosing happiness. Life is filled with challenges, but your response to them determines your happiness. When life throws curveballs, remember that you can choose how to react. Every obstacle is an opportunity for growth. In closing, remember that happiness is a personal choice you make every day. It's about how you respond to life's challenges, your mindset, and your actions. Embrace the power you have to shape your happiness and make the choice to be happy. As you do, you'll not only transform your life, but also inspire those around you. Lesson number three, the secrets of mental health. Emotional mastery begins with your ability to generate new perspectives. It's about looking at life's challenges and opportunities through different lenses. Choose to see setbacks as setups for comebacks. Embrace challenges as opportunities to learn and grow. Reserving judgment and cultivating empathy is a cornerstone of emotional mastery. Practice suspending judgment when you encounter others. Be open to understanding their perspectives, even if they differ from your own. Empathy is your superpower. Walk in someone else's shoes, and you'll foster stronger connections and a greater understanding of the world. The crucial role that consistent sleep plays in your emotional well-being. Prioritize sleep as a non-negotiable in your life. Create a sleep-friendly environment. Maintain a regular sleep schedule and witness the profound impact on your mood and emotional balance. Emotional mastery wouldn't be complete without discussing emotional intelligence, the ability to recognize, understand, and manage your own emotions and those of others. 
Start by being aware of your own emotions. Understand what triggers your emotional responses and learn to manage them effectively. Practice self-regulation to prevent impulsive emotional reactions. Give yourself time to respond thoughtfully. The secrets to mental health lie in your ability to generate new perspectives, reserve judgment, prioritize consistent sleep, and develop emotional intelligence. Lesson number four. Why external validation falls short. The allure of external validation. We'll look at the natural human desire for approval and recognition and how it impacts our choices and actions. The illusion of social media. Social media can be a double-edged sword and why this can lead to feelings of inadequacy and comparison. Social media platforms often showcase the highlights of people's lives creating an illusion of happiness and success. It's easy to compare your behind, the scenes to someone else's highlight reel. But remember, we all have our struggles and challenges. External validation can be a shallow measure of your worth because it's based on selective information. The chase for external validation is never ending. You post a picture and you wait for those likes and comments. But what happens when they don't come? It can leave you feeling empty and unfulfilled, always wanting more. Relying on others to validate your self-worth is like chasing a carrot on a stick that you'll never quite reach. Let's talk about some actionable steps to reduce your social media usage and regain control over your happiness. Set time limits. Allocate specific time slots for social media and stick to them. Don't let it consume your day. Unfollow negative influences. Unfollow accounts that make you feel inadequate or unhappy. Surround yourself with positivity. Focus on real connections. Invest time in building and maintaining real life relationships. These connections can provide a genuine source of validation and support. Engage in hobbies. Rediscover your passions and hobbies. They can be a great source of intrinsic satisfaction. Lesson number five. Strong body, stronger communication. Effective communication is a valuable skill. But if you find yourself struggling to express yourself or feeling trapped in your own shell, the solution might be closer than you think. Let's explore how increasing your testosterone through weightlifting can supercharge your confidence and communication skills. Testosterone is often associated with masculinity, but it's not just about physical traits. It plays a crucial role in confidence, assertiveness, and even your mood. When your testosterone levels are optimal, you're more likely to feel self-assured and ready to take on challenges. One of the amazing byproducts of weightlifting is the boost in self-esteem and self-image. As you see improvements in your body, you become more comfortable in your own skin. This newfound confidence can help you step out of your comfort zone and break free from your communication barriers. With increased confidence, your communication skills naturally get a significant upgrade. You'll find it easier to express your thoughts and ideas, engage in conversations, and assert yourself when necessary. This can have a profound impact on your personal and professional life. Start slow. Begin with light weights and gradually increase the resistance as you gain strength. Stay consistent. Consistency is key. Make weightlifting a regular part of your routine. Nutrition. Maintain a balanced diet to support your muscle growth and overall health. Lesson number six. Now is your key to success. It's easy to get caught up in the past or constantly be thinking about the future. But what if I told you that the key to success, happiness, and personal fulfillment lies in the present moment? The power of now is about living in the present moment, fully embracing the here and now. It's a state of mindfulness and awareness where you are fully engaged in whatever you are doing, free from the distractions of the past or worries about the future. Dwelling on the past can lead to regret and nostalgia while focusing solely on the future can lead to anxiety and stress. But in the present moment, you have the power to create your future 
and let go of the baggage from the past. When you embrace the present moment, incredible things happen. Reduced stress. By focusing on what's happening right now, you can significantly reduce stress and anxiety. Enhanced productivity. Being fully engaged in the present improves your focus and productivity. Improved relationships. You become a better listener and a more present companion. Strengthening your relationships. Greater happiness. The ability to appreciate the small joys in life leads to a greater sense of happiness. It's important to know that living in the present is a skill that can be developed. Here are a few steps to help you cultivate the power of now. Mindfulness meditation, disconnect from distractions, appreciation practice. Lesson number seven, riding the waves of impermanence. Life isn't fair. Life has a way of throwing curveballs at us when we least expect it. We face difficulties, setbacks, and injustices. And it's easy to feel like life isn't fair. But today, we're going to shift our perspective and see how embracing life's impermanence can actually be a source of motivation and strength. Nothing in life remains the same. Our circumstances, our emotions, and even our very existence are in a constant state of flux. Change is the only constant, and it's something we must come to terms with. We've all experienced situations that felt deeply unfair. It's frustrating, and it can be disheartening. But it's crucial to remember that life doesn't follow a script. The concept of fairness is subjective, and it's often our expectations that lead to feelings of injustice. When we embrace life's unpredictability and accept that nothing lasts forever, we gain resilience and adaptability. Resilience. Recognize that challenging times are an opportunity to grow and become stronger. Resilience is born from facing adversity. Adaptability. When we accept that change is constant, we become more flexible in our thinking and actions, making it easier to navigate life's twists and turns. One way to embrace impermanence is through mindfulness. By staying present and fully engaging in the current moment, we can better cope with life's ups and downs. Mindfulness helps us appreciate the beauty in the here and now, rather than dwelling on what's unfair or what we can't control. As you go forward, keep these lessons in mind and don't be afraid to share them with the men in your life. We can all learn from each other's experiences. If you enjoyed this video and found it insightful, please consider subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement and feedback mean the world to us. Stay tuned for more thought, provoking content that empowers and inspires you. Remember, it's never too late to learn, grow, and become the best version of yourself. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, keep embracing life's lessons and may your journey be filled with wisdom, strength, and joy. Take care and see you in the next video.